has no place for argument. Hi, I'm Omo Shebi Miriam Olola, and I'm really passionate about seeing marriages thrive. And that's why I'm doing this video. You see, no one in his or right senses wakes up or, you know, goes into marriage with the intention of allowing the marriage crash. No one goes into marriage with the intention that he wants his marriage to fail or her marriage to fail. But what's happening? Marriages are failing everywhere. In our world today, you see marriages crash virtually every day. But knowledge is power. When you have certain knowledge, when you have access to certain knowledge, it will help you to prevent some things or to make sure that you do certain things. And that's why I want to share with you something that I learned from a book that I read, a book written by Head Young. I read that book several years back, and I just feel that I should share this with you. In that book, Head Young shared the uh, uh, three stages of marriage, three stages of marriage, and I have been through those three stages of marriage. So that's why I'm sharing this with you. So this is not about, oh, Ed knowledge or what she read. It is about what I've been through and what I'm uh, uh, going through right now. All right, so the first stage of marriage, which is the very common stage, is the honeymoon phase. Virtually everybody, you know, enjoys this stage. At the honeymoon phase, you don't see the flaws. You rarely see the flaws in your partner and, you know, everything just rosy and you just enjoying everything. The romance is hot and then the fires of love are just burning and consuming your heart. But this phase, this stage doesn't go on for too long. Yes, I hear some people say, oh, I've been at the honeymoon stage for five years, seven years. Okay, but I hear something telling me in my ears. That's rather long. Yes, from what I've heard from a number of people, I believe that th those are rare cases. Okay, so the honeymoon phase, the honeymoon stage doesn't last for long. And it doesn't last forever anyway. You have to, you will definitely find yourself in the next stage of marriage. And the next stage of marriage is the party is over stage. The party is over. When the party is over, your eyes open. When the party is over, you begin to see the flaws. When the party is over, huh, you see what is happening. You see the real person in your spouse. And then at this stage, all those things that didn't really matter to you begin to matter to you at this stage. But while at this stage, which is a stage where so many people find themselves after a few months, some people after just a few weeks, yes, reality dawns on you. You have three options at this stage. At this stage, it is a stage of decision. And those three decisions that you have, the three options that you have, the first option that you have is to fold your hands and just say, let's just see how this works. Let's see how this turns out. Let's just, you know, let's just roll by. And when we get to the next bridge, we're going to cross that bridge. You know, at this phase, at this stage of marriage, you just keep up appearances. And then you just say, let's just, you know, we don't want people to know that we have issues. Um, you know, we've not even spoken to each other in the past five days. But it doesn't matter. When we go out, we still wear the same uh, attire, matching attires and all that. Now, that's the first option, to fold your hands. However, if you're not careful, if you fold your hands and you just keep keep seeing or keep uh, looking at your marriage and just looking at it, what is going to happen in the end is that you find your marriage in the ditch. Now, the second option you have is to file for a divorce. And that is what so many people are doing in our world today. And it really saddens my heart as much as I know that it saddens the heart of God because God says that he hates divorce. Yes, I want marriages to thrive. And that is why I don't want this face, this, this, uh, this face for you to take that option of the divorce because you have other options. And the third option you have is to step into the third phase of marriage. Yes, you can decide to step 
step into the third stage of marriage. And what's the, the third stage of marriage all about? The third stage of marriage is that stage where you believe that the best is yet to be. The best is yet to be stage. That is the third stage of marriage. And at this stage, it is a stage where your eyes are open, you see the flaws, but you decide that the best is yet to come. And what just one thing keeps you at this stage, and that is love. You know, many people argue, have heard and read a no number of people talking about love not being enough to keep a marriage successful. But the truth of the matter is something that I believe right from way back before I even got married and something I strongly believe even right now as I'm talking to you is the fact that love is all that you need to make your marriage work. If you understand the real concept of love, what love really is, then you will know that what you need is love to make your marriage work. At this phase, you see your spouse's uh, flaws, but you decide that I will still love this person. Now that is what makes marriage work. It is at this phase that you put in all the hard work. You're ready to give it all it takes. You're ready to make the sacrifices. You're ready to you know, join hands with your spouse and move the marriage forward. That is the best is yet to be stage. Now the love that keeps you going at this stage will help you to be patient, to be kind, to be forgiving, okay, to believe the best. And when you have this love in your heart, you will not be jealous of your spouse. You will not be boastful, okay? You will not seek revenge. You will, you know, just love, love. So this face, this is where I desire that every couple will find themselves. I desire that every couple will take that step, will they take that leap of faith into the third stage of marriage, where you believe that the best is yet to be. Yes, because I have seen this work for people. You might say, oh, you don't understand just how deep my marriage is, you know, how shallow our love is and how deep in fights and all that we have here. I have seen it work. As a matter of fact, I worked with someone recently and she was at the verge of quitting on her marriage. She was ready to throw in the towel. But the story today, just after a few months, is amazing. It's amazing. And it encourages my heart to know that, yes, our marriages can still work if and only if we are ready to give it all that it takes. And what it takes is that desire to see your marriage work. Is that desire to join forces together to make your marriage work. I trust God with you. That if you can invite God into your marriage, because God himself, he is love. If you can just invite him into your marriage and join forces with your spouse, your marriage can thrive again. No matter how deep you are in you know, your disagreements and all that, your marriage is not beyond redemption. Yes, I said that. Your marriage is not beyond redemption. Trust God to help you and be ready to make it work. As long as both of you are able to find yourself at that place where you decide to step into the third stage of marriage, the sky is not your limit, it's your starting point. Yes, your marriage is going to be a beautiful one. And that is what I desire for you. And that's why I did this video, to encourage your heart that you can think again. You don't have to give up on your marriage. Your marriage can work. And with God, all things are possible. Paradventure, you have questions or you have concerns or you need counseling, by the grace of God, I'll be able to answer your questions. And if it's beyond me, we'll be able to seek help. But yes, please, don't give up on your marriage. Don't give up on your marriage. You can send me an email. Send an email to thebeautifulbranch at gmail.com. Yes, or you send me a message on my Facebook page, Omoshebi Miriam Olola. PhD. Okay, so that's it for now. I'll be doing another video soon to tell you those things you should be doing when you are at the best is yet to be stage. Those practical things that will make the marriage work. Until next time, have an enjoyable marriage. Stay blessed.